What? You disagree? What? What's the matter? I... That was just a joke. Oh, never mind. Hey, look. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? That's perfect. Number four. Let's go. This is Red Skull. Yeah. See that asshole. The protection ritual of Kuchisake Ana. Ah. Kuchisake Ana, which translates literally to a split mouth woman, is a Toshi Densetsu, or in English, an urban legend that recounts the horrific tale of a woman who uh. stole the heart of her rival's love, who in turn faced her down in a dark alley one night, and in a mad rage, mutilated her face by ripping her mouth ear to ear. The split mouth woman was driven oh. mad by the fact that she was once beautiful, and that she now wears a med mask at all hours. When she spotted beautiful children, she envied them, and it was said that she would ask, meaning, do you think I am beautiful? Whoa. Respectfully, most would just nod or approve of what little of her face they could see. Kuchisake Ona would then remove her mask, allowing her jaw to flop open hideously. She would then ask the same question. <laughs> and if the victim answered yes, then they would have to suffer through their own mouth being slashed open in the same manner. If they answered no, then they would simply be killed on the spot. This urban legend grew so strong in the early 1990s era of Japan that school children were asked to be walked home by teachers. <laughs> Prevention of Kuchisake's attack is said to work as follows. When approached by her, she will ask the victim, Do you think I am beautiful? A response of yes will cause her to drop the mask oh. and show her mouth. She will ask that same question again. Answering yes will cause Kuchisake to carve a slash in the victim's mouth similar to hers. And answering no will cause Kuchisake to kill the victim right on the spot. Kill the victim. Victims have apparently thought of an ambiguous answer of, I don't know. Or by throwing candy at Kuchisake, causing confusion that distracts her long enough to escape. Okay, he said that they will be killed on the spot. The Devil's Game. The Devil's Game. The Devil's Game is an incredibly dangerous game that some say is rather difficult to pull off or even make work. The Devil is a rather odd supernatural being, rooted in many different religions and occult rituals. The Devil's Game is one ritual on how to contact him. The ritual explains that by entering the church at 11.30 p.m., you'll need a wall size my neck. red string, Ooh, red my neck. Candles, and salt. What's wrong with your Once neck? You it hurts. Well, congratulations. Thank you. This is to bind the spirit and simply put Scully. it in so he won't get out. Oops. Place the candles even with the barn. Now, they need to be red or white because those symbolize purity and protection. As you can tell, most of this is for your own protection. And most of this protection is usually based on belief. So you may want to experiment if you wish. Now, put a circle or a half circle of salt around the mirror. Finally, you'll need to sit down and simply pray or believe that you have to be present. Keep in mind, this part of the ritual must be done between the time of midnight and quarter past. It's been rumored will show up. However, he's more likely to appear on days such as Friday the 13th, Halloween, or simply a day that has a dark psychological effect. Halloween, this is a but soon. Based system. I know. If all goes according to plan, he will be looking at you through the mirror. Satan! That's Satan! But rather, keep your eyes focused on his face, as looking directly into his eyes will cause it to suddenly appear outside the mirror in this realm. Now, the devil game is played between you and the devil. I watch weird Armageddon. Answer the question, and the other will answer. You will need to answer what question he asked, truthfully and honestly, and he will be forced to do the same. But remember, the devil's game can go horribly wrong and can be incredibly unpredictable. Should you decide to stumble on a question or take too long to answer? Satan, you betrayed me. Even it's the creepy man's father, so beyond.
the midnight game. The midnight game is an old pagan ritual used mainly as punishment for those who have broken the laws of the pagan religion in question. While it was mainly used as a scare tactic, not to disobey the gods, there is still a chance of death to those who attempt to play the midnight game. So let's begin the actual ritual. Okay. It must be exactly midnight when you begin performing the ritual. Otherwise, it won't work. You'll need a candle, a piece of paper, a writing implement, matches, some, a wooden door, and at least one drop of your own blood. Hmm. You are playing with multiple people. They will need their own aforementioned materials, and they will have to perform the following steps. Write your full name, first, middle, and last on the piece of paper, but at least one drop of blood on the paper. Allow it to soak into it. That's Next, blood. turn off all the lights in the place you're doing this. <coughs> Go to your wooden door and place the paper with your name on it in the front of the door. Knock on the That's door getting hotter. The My battery's getting hotter. The door may open by itself. The entity you have just summoned is called the Midnight Man. This is where the game begins. Oh. You must now look around your own completely dark house with the lit candle in your hand. Your goal is to avoid the Midnight Man at all costs till 3.33 a.m. Should your candle ever go out, that means the Midnight Man is near you. You must relight your candle immediately. If you're not successful in doing this, you must immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. If you are unsuccessful, both of your actions, the Midnight Man will create a hallucination of your greatest fear and kill you. I miss you, If you are mommy. successful in creating the circle of salt, you must remain there until 3.33 a.m. Okay. Afterwards, the Midnight Man will disappear. If you are successful in relaying your candle, you may proceed with the game. To win the game, you must avoid being captured by the Midnight Man until 3.33 a.m. The Midnight Man will leave your house afterwards, and you will be able to proceed with your morning. What a beautiful morning. Number one, last one! How to play Hide and Go Seek Alone. Hide and Go Seek? Hide and Go Seek Alone is a famous game in Japan and Korea. Originating from Japan, where you let a spear possess a doll and play a game of Hide and Go Seek with it. Essentially, it's a form of necromancy, and it goes without saying that it's very dangerous, but I highly doubt that any of you are going to listen to me, so why don't we start off with what you'll need. A stuffed doll with limbs. Hmm. It's recommended to use a human doll, as there's a huge chance that the spirit will not leave it. If you have an animal doll with limbs, it can be used as well. Rice. Now, rice is said to, well, attract spirits, and <laughs> it's supposed to be more attractive and that usually would reside in your doll. Something from your body. Now, usually fingernails for the doll to represent. Oh my god, that doll, do though. Do doll. God, I hate dolls. I agree with you. Someone else's body parts. This will result in the doll replacing that person instead of, well, the doll. And the game will not work correctly. A sharp-edged object to anger the spirit within the doll, usually by stabbing it. Now, be sure not to use a knife or scissors, as the doll will potentially stab... No, 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 okay, I'll be right back. What in the fuck? Okay, that was weird. That wasn't me. That was not me. That wasn't me either. Find you. Use a pencil or small needle instead. It's recommended that you use a wooden toothpick. Red thread to soak the hole you made with the doll. This letter symbolizes blood vessels and acts as a restraint later in the game. Salt water or salt. Now, this will be Looks like a skull. The game to get rid of the spirit inside the doll. A bathtub with water. <laughs> if your home does not have a bathtub, a basin large enough to put the doll in <laughs> with water in a bathroom works too. A very safe sanctuary or hiding spot. When it's the doll's turn to find you, if you have a room with statues and things related to your religion, it's recommended you make that your hiding spot. You must turn off all lights and leave the television on, well, static. Head to your hiding spot and then count to ten and return to the bathroom with your sharp-edged object. 
after snapping the doll, declare that the object is it again, and then return to your hiding spot, where they are able to sip half a cup of salt water without swallowing. Now, Shit. after telling to ten, they must find you. The television static is said to flicker on and off. With that thing's water. getting up. If it has moved, if it has found you, spit the salt water on, then pour the leftover contents of the cup, ending the ritual. It is of vital importance that the doll is dried, burned, and stuffed with salt afterwards, or the demon or spirit may have not have completely left it. That was lame. That video was so fucking lame. I agree. Screw this. I'm out. Whoa, what the? Ah!